Greetings viewers, welcome to another fan art drawing time lapse video by yours truly, Aziz Draws. As you can see this week I decided to draw Ganondorf, as suggested by my former roommate. He, uh, he and I play Smash every now and then, I might have mentioned him in another video, the Captain Falcon video. But another character I enjoy drawing, or playing, I shouldn't say drawing, this thing was torture. Another character I enjoyed playing in Smash is Ganondorf. Because he's basically Captain Falcon, but slower and stronger. Um, I noticed they've tried to, you know, kind of, you know, try to make him more uh, individualized in the newer game. He's using his sword more often. Um, some of his animations have changed, so that's nice to see. Um, but, you know, his, his character design is pretty cool. You know, he definitely conveys the sense of, you know, villainy. You know, this guy's, this guy's not a good person. He's evil. And so he suggested I try and draw Ganondorf, and I was like, that that would appear to be a nice challenge. So I went, again, went ahead and did it. But I did not know how much of a challenge it would be, specifically detail-wise. Uh, I was looking at some of the character sheets and reference photos of Ganondorf's new model in the Smash Ultimate game. And man, <laughs> there's I was just thinking to myself, Nintendo, why? <laughs> there were so many intricate details on his costume um, even to the lining of his under armor there's there's a pattern going on uh, and you have all these decals and uh, intricate shapes going on in his outer armor you have the texture on his cloth wrist things i don't even know what to really call them it's just details everywhere on this character and so i definitely spent a good while not only sketching it but also color blocking this character just so I made sure that all the colors were reacting well to each other and they matched accordingly uh, to the references and but it wasn't too bad and the position that I had Ganondorf um, for my final drawing was to have him perform his warlock punch as some some of us dub it which is like very similar to the falcon punch you get hit by that thing you're you're flying and so I wanted to kind of depict Ganondorf at one of his, you know, most terrifying moments in the game. That and his up tilt. His up tilt is pretty scary too. But when you see Ganondorf, you know, charging up his punch, it's really easy to evade because there's a lot of startup animation. But if you're going up against a really good player and they can time it properly or they they got you mixed up, it's it's pretty scary to see happen. And so I wanted to convey that sense of dread with uh, Ganondorf's punch. Uh, as you'll see when I go with the lighting phase of this drawing, a lot of focus is put onto the arm he uses to punch. But yeah, you can see I'm still color blocking. Like usually by this point in the video, I'm already shading, but you can tell that it, it took a while. I was like, the more I looked at his uh, his images, the more I realized how much detail is going in. Um, you can see I kind of uh, winged it when it came to the patterning um, on his under like under armor layer and I figured that was fine because what's going to probably happen is the shading will cover most of it and so I, a lot of the times the artists will you know do that kind of thing to not put too much detail into the drawings because sometimes it's not even um, visually necessary and sometimes from a compositional standpoint you wouldn't want to do that because typically with drawings like these you want to have a focus on your drawing and you can kind of do that by not putting as much detail in certain areas. Um, so you can see the light source is his punch. Um, I made everything really purple. Um, as, as I know from like Japanese culture, purple is typically used to emphasize on evil energy. So Ganondorf being an evil person, guess what color his energy is? Um, and yeah, you can see I used the lightning to cover his face. It is what it is. Yeah, I don't know. Is there much to say about this drawing other than that? Um, oh, I also found out why this drawing took me so long. After I did it, I made a quick little comparison between this drawing and... What drawing was it? It was the Luffy drawing I did, um, I believe, back in February. And I noticed that I changed the line weight or I changed the size of the brush. The size of the brush is significantly bigger in the one piece drawing than it is here. Um, if I'm reading correctly on the screen, I think I put it on 25 here. And 
if I remember on the Luffy one, it might have been 45. So that meant there was technically more ground for me to cover with that smaller brush. And therefore, it made it much longer. But I, I also needed my brush to be smaller because there were more details going on with Ganondorf compared to Luffy. So I don't know if maybe if I made the brush bigger, it would have made things quicker or not much of an effect at all because there were so many things I had to concern with anyway. So I don't know. This was a very detailed drawing. And I zoomed out and I was just like, man, this is this is ridiculous. But I, I like the end result. It's, it's chill. And I also, you know, um, felt that I was testing my patience with this drawing. I was like, OK, how much longer do I want to keep going with the shading? How much longer do I want to keep going? Like, I think I split this drawing up into three live streams. The first one was literally just sketching it. It took me about a solid two hours just to sketch Ganondorf. And then the next session was another three hours of just color blocking. And then the last session was four solid hours of coloring, lighting, and doing effects. As you can see, I'm kind of doing this, um, this dark energy, dark matter situation surrounding the punch. Um, I analyzed the animation of his warlock punch within the game. Um, I was like watching videos on YouTube, seeing like slow-mo footage of his punch just to see what kind of lighting effects they put on it. But that's that's what I ended up with. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Oh, and watch out for that 1000 sub special.